Hey, what's up everyone? Today's video, we're going to be talking about a modified version of Beast's Nest that you can find over on Reddit that's been out for maybe um, about a month now. And what this project does is it allows an HD version mode. And what this version does is it enables an HD mode seven mod. Now, for anyone that doesn't know what Mode 7 is, it's a video format that the Super Nintendo Entertainment System used for games like Castlevania, F-Zero, Super Mario Kart, the Super Mario World series, and um, it essentially any game that had 3D type backgrounds. And on most modern computers, TV screens, things of that nature, the, the resolutions have gotten so high that these games look absolutely terrible uh, when displayed in a high resolution format. So what this version does, is it's going to take your your standard mode seven graphics and enhance them to a higher definition mode. Now, I'm going to put a link to the Reddit post where you can download this version of Beast Nest down in my description for anyone who wants to go check out the project, follow the developer over there on Reddit. And here are some screenshots uh, just to kind of give you an idea, first and foremost, of what this is. And then I'm going to load up Beast Nest and show some live examples. For anyone who's played Super Mario Kart, uh, one of the things that you get a ton of when you're on the emulated version is just tons of jagged edges. Um, it just doesn't look too good on most of your screens. And with Mode 7 HD enabled, this is pretty much what it goes to. I mean, just in the screenshots alone, you can see a huge difference before HD Mode 7 mod and then after HD Mode 7 mod. And then same thing over here with pilot wings. You're going to have your standard pilot wings, and this is what your emulation is going to look like. And then you've got pilot wings HD. Same thing with F-Zero, F-Zero HD. Now, unfortunately, not every game used Mode 7. There were a lot of games, and most of them that, that were using it were popular games. So there are quite a few games you're going to be able to use to take advantage of this. First things first. What you want to do is go over to the Reddit page that I'm going to link in the description below. You're going to want to click this link right here and then just go download um, the dot raw or dot zip. However, they've got it. Unzip it into the folder you want to use and then open it up. Now, I've already got mine downloaded right here. And as you can see, this is the uh, Beast Nest HD mode seven mod version. And I'm essentially just going to click it open and we are going to load a game. And I already have a few loaded up just to make this easy. And the first one we're going to do is F-Zero. Now, the reason I like this game is because it's got a pretty cool um, demo that plays automatically. That way it can be running in the background while I'm showing you guys some settings. And now where you're going to find the settings that you need to enable this, because by default, it's going to be the normal Beast Nest uh, configuration. So it's going to have the standard low definition uh, graphics that you're used to seeing. So you're going to want to go over here to settings and go into your emulator. And then right down here in this, you're going to see that right now we're at a 240 scale. So I'm going to click this drop down and I'm going to bump it up to about 960. And instantly you can see what the difference is. I mean, it's a night and day difference between normal up to 960. Now, I've tried some of the other scales and I'll be honest with you on my screen, which is a um, 1440p screen. I, I did not see a whole lot more improvement beyond 960 not like the improvement you get from the 240 up to the 960. all right now i'm gonna go out and load a different game we are going to load super mario kart and let's just speed through the menus now right here on the menu alone i'm gonna go back down to the 240 and you can see the the low definition blur that you're used to the color is a little washed out and then when you come back up here to 960p, you get some nice vibrant color. Everything's nice, sharp and crisp. Let's go in here to a one player game. Good old Toad. Now I want to apologize in advance if you see some um, glitching or lagging on my screen. Apparently my recording software and the emulator are not playing well together. So you can absolutely see just racing around the track how much difference it makes uh, on the top part of the map as well as the mini map underneath because at the low definition let me pause this real quick you can see that there is a night and day difference on the 240 side the bottom map is all fuzzy washed out 
Um, there's lots of jitters and artifacting in your top screen to the point that it's almost um, that it almost interferes with the gameplay because things are moving around so much. And uh, I'm going to take it back up to 960 just for a moment. And there we go. Back super crisp. And now everything's nice and fluid. Uh, more like it probably was when we played these back on our old CRT TVs. All right. Let's load one more game and we are going to load a classic. We are going to load Super Mario World. Now, with this, you're not going to notice as much as you did with the other two titles that I tried just because of the type they are, but you're still going to notice a huge difference in the overall look of the game, especially when it comes to some of the side scrolling 3D backgrounds. And we are going to try that again down at 240. Again, this is the mode that most of you guys are used to if you've been using any of these emulators for a while. So even with this game, you're going to get a noticeable enough difference that it's worth the download. All right, let's close this out. Now, from reading through Reddit, uh, Dakoon is working uh, very diligently at this release, and it's getting better and better. And as all things, when they're in a beta form, nothing's perfect. Um, so you may have a little bit of lag depending on the, the type of computer that you're using. Um, my specific situation, I'm running this on a pretty powerful computer, so I haven't really noticed too much but a hiccup here and there. But please take a look at the um, link in the description, go over there, show your support for the project, keep up with it, help test and uh, report bugs if you can, because everything you can report and us as a community can report to those guys is going to help this release get better and better in the future. All right, hope you guys liked the video. And if this is something that uh, you didn't know about before and the video helped you out, great. Give me a thumbs up. If you like the video or the content, give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I do all types of content on this channel from emulation talk to emulation builds, product reviews, um, video game chat in general. So if there's anything you'd like to see specifically, please feel free to post it down in the um, comments section below. I always do my best to respond to my comments. Until next time, thanks for watching the video, guys.